patients undergoing surgery should be aware of the risks of surgery, but the risks associated with cataract surgery are very low. About 98% of cataract operations is performed without complications, and one in a thousand patients develop infection or hemorrhage, and one in 10,000 develop severe complications which can result in permanent loss of vision in the operated eye. So although complications do arise, they are very rare. The main complication occurring actually at the time of surgery is again rare, but it is called posterior capsule rupture. And when the cataract is removed, the back surface of the original cataract, called the posterior capsule, should remain intact because this supports the new lens that is inserted in the eye at the time of the operation. If this posterior capsule were to break at the time of surgery, it can sometimes make it more difficult to insert the lens that you require, uh, and sometimes it increases the risks of retinal detachment and a condition where there is waterlogging of the central part of the retina at the back of the eye, causing blurring of vision. But most times, if posterior capsule rupture were to occur, provided it's managed appropriately, it doesn't have a major effect on the visual outcome. Following surgery, there is a slight risk of a condition called Irvin gas syndrome, which is slightly frustrating uh, because in the first, usually two weeks following surgery, the patient is seeing very well, and then for reasons we do not understand, there is again waterlogging of the central part of the retina due to leakage from blood vessels, and that causes blurring of vision. But again, it usually either resolves spontaneously, or the resolution is facilitated by frequent uh, steroid drops. Some patients have increased risk of cataracts, and certainly these days with small incision cataract surgery, if the cataract becomes very dense, that in fact increases the risk of surgery. So if your vision is very blurred, you do not want to wait for the cataract to progress any further before proceeding with cataract surgery. And there are some rare conditions, such as pseudoexfoliation syndrome, which is a condition where a tissue is produced inside the eye, which is a little bit like dandruff, and for reasons we don't quite understand, it loosens the structures inside the eye and increases the risks of tissues tearing when they shouldn't. And again, if you have pseudoexfoliation syndrome and cataract, and you're troubled by the cataract, you should probably have the surgery sooner rather than later, because as we've mentioned already, if you wait for a cataract to become very dense, that can increase the risks of surgery with modern small incision surgery. And obviously if you have small pupils that do not enlarge from previous inflammation, uh, that requires extra manipulation uh, to the iris in order to facilitate the cataract operation, and that also slightly increases the risk of surgery. But overall, the patients having cataract surgery have a very high success rate.